Hi. Yo, yo. Hello. How are you? Um, <clears throat> I was just finishing up a project here. And I realized that I did a story time and I did an intro, but the intro was a little rough. So I'm redoing the intro real quick for a story time here. Uh, this is for, um, I think, I don't want to say the name wrong. A Million Little Moments. <clears throat> this is Inevitable Book 2 by Riley Hart. Now, we don't do a lot of work for Riley. Um, she's a newer client to us, but man, what I do, it is so fucking fun. Riley Hart, you're amazing. Um, <clears throat> all the emotions in this one. I'm going to read you the blurb real quick. Uh, and trust me, this is one of those, it's credit worthy. Just go get it. Sutton. Jasper has been my best friend my whole life. From losing my family when I was young to living together and running our business, it's always been me and Jasp. I feel more for him than I should, but confessing the truth will be the first step to losing him. Our lives are so intertwined, it's hard to tell where one of us ends and the other begins. It's killing me more each day to be this close to him and not be able to call him mine. So when it hurts too much, the only choice is to walk away. And Jasper... My life is perfect. I have my family, my business, and my best friend. But when Sutton starts pulling away, everything changes, and it's ripping me apart, forcing me to admit hard truths. That I feel different when he touches me, that I need him always by my side. The thing is, I'm in love with Sutton, and apparently he feels the same. Loving Sutton is as easy as breathing, yet knowing my parents won't accept us, not with all the backward things they raised me to believe makes each day a struggle. But one thing I know for sure, the world doesn't make sense if Sutton and I aren't together. We've had a million little moments to prove it. And to be the man he deserves, I have to fight for him, for us. And maybe that means fighting for myself, too. A Million Little Moments is a double by awakening friends to lovers romance filled with first times self-discovery and two men destined to be together. And all the emotions. Here's a cover for it. <clears throat> You'll enjoy. Pain us. That's me. Um, I think I did chapter five for story time. I forget. Uh, it was two days ago. But uh, enjoy. Have fun. I'm sure it's a moment where they are together. So hope you all like it. See you. Chapter five. Sudden. Weeks went by. We worked hard every day, spent some dinners with Jasper's family and well, some at home. Jasper went out some. He fucked a couple of women. Had some Stop. drinks at the bar. Jasper went out. I didn't want to get that familiar, but okay. okay. Spent some dinners with Jasper's family and well, some at home. Jasper went out some. Fucked a couple of women. Had some drinks at the bar. The typical thing. I was still talking to Kendra, but we yet had to de pa pa A couple of women. Had some drinks at the bar. The typical thing. One more time with feeling. A couple of women. Had some drinks at the bar. The typical thing. I was still talking to Kendra, but we had yet to meet up. She'd asked a few times, but when she did, I always made up some excuse. I just wasn't as interested in her as I should be as I wanted to be. I tried not to think about what that meant, but I didn't want to take a chance with a beautiful woman and why Stop. I'd be happy to... Why I didn't want to take... ...as interested in her as I should be, as I wanted to be. I tried not to think about what that meant, why I didn't want to take a chance with a beautiful woman and why I'd be happy being Jasper's best friend and roommate forever if I could. Tonight, we were having dinner with Sherry and Bob, Jasper's parents. Sherry had called for a family get-together, and when she asked, everyone came. That was how it worked. I loved it, though. Loved feeling part of a family. When I'd lost my own, Jasper's had been that for me. Cheryl had taken me to even more... Stop, Sherry. When I'd lost my own, Jasper's had been that for me. Sherry had taken to me even more than before, treating me just the way she did Jasp. That was part of the guilt I felt Stop. sometimes. Sherry <laughs> had taken to me. When I'd lost my own, Jasper's had been that for me. 
Sherry had taken to me even more than before, treating me just the way she did Jasp. That was part of the guilt I felt sometimes about my mixed up feelings when it came to Jasper. He was supposed to be like a brother to me. His mama loved me like I was her son, his dad too. And there I was, having to bury these unwanted thoughts about him. <laughs> it was fucked up. So yeah, I was... These unwanted thoughts about him. <laughs> it was fucked up. So yeah, I was thinking about that a little at dinner. Sammy, his mama, and Molly were there too. Sometimes Sammy and Molly confused me. They were close as close could be, but something was off. I couldn't put my finger on what it was, or, hell, maybe I was batshit crazy and there was nothing at all. Jasper was saying, We're thinking about redoing the floors in the cabin. That Sutton's real good with hardwood. We should never put carpet in there in the first place. I was batshit crazy and there was nothing at all. <clears throat> Jasper was saying, oh, We're thinking about redoing the floors in the cabin. Sutton's real good with hardwood. We never should. should. <laughs> Can't get over the hardwood line. Sutton's real good with hardwood. Do that one more time with a little more feeling about the hardwood. Yeah, I was batshit crazy and there was nothing at all. Jasper was saying, oh, We're thinking about redoing the floors in the cabin. Well, Sutton's real good with hardwood. We never should have put carpet in there in the first place, but it was cheaper. He always talked about the cabin like it was both of ours. And yeah, I lived with him, but it wasn't mine. Now that I got a little money put back, I think we might do it ourselves, Jasper said while we were all shoveling food into our mouths. No one could cook as well as Sherry. I loved her food. I gotta reference this one. Uncle Bob, Jasper's dad. He was here in the last one. Uncle Bob, when the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act... Now, he don't talk much, but when he does, people supposedly listen. No one could cook as well as Sherry. I loved her food. You guys are getting too old to live like a couple of bachelors, Bob said making the hairs on the back of my neck rise and guilt fill my belly with discomfort. He was the kind of man who didn't have a lot to say most of the time, but when he spoke, people listened. What you need to do is stop depending on each other so much. Find yourself a wife, Jasper, and then she can help you figure out what you want to do with the cabin. I didn't look up when they spoke. I couldn't. Just took another bite like they weren't talking about me. And Bob was right. What the... F Just took another bite like they weren't talking about me. And Bob was right. That was what should happen. What would happen? One day... They're best friends, Sherry replied. They're still young. There's no reason for either of them to rush into a family. Jasper and Caroline broke up just a few months back. She was horrible for him. We don't need a girl like that in the family. The right one will come along. Out of the corner of my eyes, I saw her reach over and squeeze Jasper's hand. I needed to say something. Needed to hammer home that she was right. And remind myself what I needed to do. What I would do. Don't plan on living with him forever, I said. The heat of Jasper's... I don't like my delivery of that. And remind myself what I needed to do. What I would do. Don't plan on living with him forever, I said. The heat of Jasper's stare made fire lick up my skin. Made me shift uncomfortably in my seat. Why did that surprise him? Why did it upset him? Because I knew it did. He confused me so fucking much sometimes. Like, maybe he had some of the same thoughts I... Why did it upset him? Because I knew it did. 
He confused me so fucking much sometimes, like maybe he had some of the same thoughts I did. Well, Sherry said, when you do find someone, make sure she's like our Molly here. Stop when you find someone. When you do. Thing thoughts I did. Well, Sherry said, when you find someone, make sure she's like our Molly here. From what I hear, you're hardly ever home anymore, Sammy. Even when Molly's at work, you're at her place. I breathed out a sigh of relief, knowing the conversation had shifted away from us. We talked about Sammy and Molly for a while. Stop. Sherry. They talked. Well, we did. I was there. Out a sigh of relief, knowing the conversation had shifted away from us. They talked about Sammy and Molly for a while. Sherry gave Sammy's mama a hard time about her rarely coming over lately. Their family was strange. They were all really close. All Sherry and Bob talked about was the importance of Ken, but then Carrie was often on the outskirts. And Sammy, too. I thought maybe I got Carrie some, though. There was a lot of pressure from Jasper's parents. Carrie kept to herself, especially after one of her incidents in town. And it wasn't too long ago that the rumor mill had been going crazy about her being so drunk. They had to call... ...kept to herself, especially after one of her incidents in town. And it wasn't too long ago that the rumor mill had been going crazy about her being so drunk they had to call Sammy Joe to get her from the bar. We finished dinner and had dessert. When the company left, Jasp and I decided to go home too. Sherry pulled me into a hug and said, You too, you know. Me too what? We'd be excited when you bring home Will. Stop. Mm -hmm. You too, you know. Me too what? We'll be excited when you bring home a nice girl too. You're part of this family, Sutton Manning. I always want to make sure you know that. Would you still feel that way if you knew what I kept buried deep? Yes, ma'am. Stop. What I, I keep know. buried. This family, Sutton Manning. I always want to make sure you know that. Would you still feel that way if you knew what I keep buried deep? I mean, yes, ma'am. I know. We love you. And your mama and daddy. They would be so proud. She kissed my cheek and I thanked her, throat thick with emotion. She hugged Jasper next, and then we were on our way. We were halfway to Jasper's house when he asked, You okay? Yeah, my stomach is a bit off for some reason, I lied. Want me to make you something when we get home? Or I can start you a bath, or I can start my own fucking bath, Jasper. Jesus, I snapped, my words bitter and sad, disguised by anger. I mean, fine, I mean, whatever. I was just trying to be nice. Don't know why you suddenly have a burr in your saddle. Fuck, I was being an asshole. I was just so damn hard when he said things like that. <clears throat> trying to be nice. Don't know why you suddenly have a burr in your saddle. Fuck, I was being an asshole. It was just so damn hard when he said things like that, did things like that. It blurred the already fuzzy line in our relationship. At least for me. Sorry. Just not feeling so hot is all. Didn't mean to be a dick. It's okay. You think you got a fever or anything? I... His words trailed off like he realized what he was doing, that he was trying to take care of me again in a way most other friends didn't. If you're good, I might go out tonight, see what some of the other guys are up to. We did have other friends, people we hung out with sometimes, had a drink or played pool and darts with at the bar. We just weren't with them the way we were with each other. I'm probably just going to go to bed. See if I can shake this off. All right, Jasper replied. He disappeared into his room when we got home, and I did the same. I heard the shower come on, and 
then heard the front door when he left. He didn't say goodbye like he usually did. Did he feel it too? Did it scare him? <sighs> Stop it, I told myself. I had no business thinking that, wondering if maybe I could ever have him, letting myself admit silently that I wanted him, that I was in love with him, that I'd been in love with Jasper Finch my whole damn life, and what that had to mean for me. Was I bisexual? Because I liked women a whole lot, too. Hell, I didn't know what label it meant. And at the moment, I didn't care. I just loved him. I needed to bury it deeper, find a way to stop feeling this way about him, because if I didn't, I was gonna ruin everything.